Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Chains with another in the series. Well, another package from eBay. This is uh, something interesting. This is a Marks 999 that I picked up. And uh, this is a Transition 999. It has pre-war wheels, but a post-war contactor. So which would date it to about 1946. Anyway, found this on eBay. And uh, the auction ended without any bids and I contacted the guy and told him if you want to sell it I'll give you 10 bucks for it and he accepted so let's see what we have here well, it's packed for everyone well. that being a relative term wow all right there's the 999 let me get this out of the way so as you see, it is complete, it has front and rear trucks, it has the lens, there is no appreciable amount of damage to it, it's got some rust on the push rods, but it is complete. It seems to be missing the spring for the contactor though, yes indeed it is. Anyway, let me get a, a, a shot of this. Pull the camera off the tripod. So, 999. Notice that it has spoked wheels. So, pre-war wheels, but it has a post-war contactor. So, like I said, this uh, dates it to about 1946. A transition 999. I have no idea if this runs. So, as usual, I'm going to put a big drop of oil on the output uh, shaft for the uh, armature down in that bearing and saturate this pad with some oil on this side of the armature now it's got brushes in it but I can see right now that uh, that brush spring is off if you see that so hold on let me grab a screwdriver real quick that by itself will prevent this from running. If I can get this back up there. Hard to do this with one hand. In fact, I can't do it with one hand. Hold on a minute. Put the camera back on the tripod. There we go. All right. So I've got to get this spring back up on this plate. Get it lined up. All right, that's better. All right, let's put this on the outside rail. Hold on, I'll grab the camera off the tripod again. All right, let's see what happens. Power is on, outside rail. Marks 999, about 1946, I would say. And it's buzzing. And it's only buzzing. Still just buzzing. Hmm. So, now the armature doesn't look to be that dirty, actually. So, no idea if this is going to run or not. There's no power going to the motor at all. None. Zero. All right. Anyway, as you can see, it was definitely worth 10 bucks, And it's in fairly decent condition, considering it's 73 years old. Like I said, pre-war wheels, but a post-war contactor. And in fairly decent condition. So I'm going to have to pull the motor out of it and uh, see what's up. Check the E-unit. Check the brushes. But uh, it is complete, and it was definitely worth the 10 bucks. Like I said, the guy had it on for 20, I think it was 20 bucks or 25 bucks, something like that. And uh, the auction ended with no one bidding on it. And so as soon as it ended, I contacted him and said, look, if you really want to sell it, I'll buy it, 10 bucks right now. And he accepted. So 10 bucks to buy it, and I think $11 to ship it, something like that. So I'll pull the motor out, 
and uh, see what's up with the E unit. Check the brushes. I can't see the top brush, but uh, the brushes are really, really short. I don't know if you can see that. Really short. Anyway, I might have to pull the brushes out and uh, clean the wells. We'll see. So, just want to do a quick uh, unboxing video on this. Marks 999, about 1946, I'm guessing. Complete front truck, rear truck, pre war wheels, post war contactor. So, going to be an interesting project to get this running. Anyway, I just want to do an unboxing video. It's far from perfect, but uh, it is complete and it is not damaged. And uh, only a minimum amount of rust on it. So I'm uh, sure I can get it running. It's just a matter of finding out what the problem is with the motor. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's trains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.